This is the second part of the videos on adding, subtracting, and multiplying complex numbers. And in this video, what I'd like you to do is to solve these four problems. And I'm going to leave these up and ask you to hit the pause button. After you hit the pause button, work through these four problems and then check your answers. So hit the pause button now. Now let's see if you've got the right answer. So you should have worked in through all three of these, these four problems while you hit the pause button and let's see if you got the right answers. So these are your answers. Now check your answers. Now if you did all these four problems correctly, then you should uh, end the video here and move on to the next video. Um, if not, if you've got all these, any of these problems incorrect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work through these four problems and see if you can find out where you made your mistake. So for on the first problem, you have 5 plus 3i plus 7 minus 12i. And this is just adding complex numbers. And the trick with algebra with complex numbers is you just pretend, pretend that the i is a variable. It's not a variable, but just pretend it is until you get an i to a power like an i squared or i cubed and then simplify. So in this one, you have a plus in front of a parentheses. So since there's just a, there's no number there, you can just drop the parentheses. So you have 5 plus 3i plus 7 minus 12i. And then you simply combine like terms. The 5 and the 7 are alike, so that's 12. And then the 3 and the negative 12i are like terms, so that's going to be a minus 9i. So your first answer is 12 minus 9i. The second problem is 6 minus 4i minus 12 minus 9i. Here what we have is we have a negative in front of a parentheses with that number. Remember that, so there's a negative 1 there, and you have to distribute the negative. And then you get 6 minus 4i minus 12, and then a negative of a negative is a positive, so it's plus 9i. So if people make mistakes on this problem, almost always what they do is they make a mistake when they distribute the negative. Next step would be to collect like terms. The 6 and the minus 12 are like terms, so that's a negative 6. And then the negative 4i and the 9i, negative 4i plus 9i would be a plus 5i. And there's your answer there. The third problem, you have 4 plus 3i minus 2i 6 minus 3i is a combination of an adding and multiplying. The first thing you need to do is you need to distribute. So you distribute the negative 2i. Again, the rule, pretend that the i is a variable until you get i to a power, and you simplify that. So here you have 4 plus 3i. The negative 2i times 6 will be a minus 12i. Minus 2i minus 3i would be a positive 6i squared. Now at this point you could simplify the i squared immediately. What I do first though is I combine like terms. So the 3i and the minus 12i are like terms. So you have 4 minus 9i plus 6i squared. And if these were variables we'd be done, but the i squared here Remember, i squared is equal to minus 1, so what we want to do is we want to plug that in. So you have 4 minus 9i plus 6 times negative 1. 6 times negative 6 is a minus 6, so that's 4 minus 9i minus 6. And we get minus 9i minus 2. Now that's the correct answer. However, we'd like We'd always like them in the form a plus bi, so we're going to write the real part first. So the real part is minus 2, and the imaginary part minus 9i. So there's your final answer right there, minus 2, minus 9i. The fourth one is a FOIL problem. And I'm going to write this a little bit bigger than normal so that we can see uh, better what's going on. So FOIL stands for F-O-I-L. Now you might have been taught how to multiply these in a different way, and there, there's different ways of doing this problem, so just check to make sure you're getting the right answer. If you do a FOIL method, you go F stands for first, so that's first times first. 
So that's minus 5 times 2 is a minus 10. And then you have O. O is outside. So you have minus 5 times a minus 7i, which is a positive 35i. And then the i stands for inside. So you have 3i times 2, so that's a 6i. And then the L stands for last, so you multiply the last term times the last term. And then that's 3i times minus 7i is a minus 21i squared. You can immediately simplify the i squared, but what I do instead is I combine the like terms. The 35i and the 6i are like terms, so you have minus 10 plus 41i minus 21i squared. So the first step is just to pretend that the i is a variable and treat it just like you would if it was an x. Then once you get i squared, you're going to remember that i squared is minus 1. You're going to plug that in. So then you have minus 10 plus 41i minus 21 times minus 1, or minus 10 plus 41i plus 21. Uh, let's see, combine like terms, that's a minus 10 and a positive 21. 41i plus 11. I like to write it as a plus bi. I like to write the real part first, so my final answer will be 11 plus 41i. That's your final answer. And that finishes how to add, subtract, and multiply complex numbers. Uh, you still need to learn how to divide them, and that's the next video.